Hi, I'd like, um, I'd like to introduce you to Richard Hell. I'm very pleased to be interviewing him tonight. And uh, we have a clip from his new movie, Smithereens. So, uh, Richard. <laughs> um, you've been in a couple of movies, right? You've yeah, I made, I made three or four. Uh, but everybody knows about Blank Generation. Most I don't know what you're talking about, the one Amos Poe made? Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't count that one. It was, it was, you know, was that it was sort of a whole movie of all the groups that were playing around clubs at that time, and uh, it, it didn't even have sound while they were shooting it, and they had to put in the songs later, and half the time the people who were shooting weren't singing the songs that he had on the soundtrack. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Only about 45 minutes long. So did you? Yeah, just, he just took that, the name, maybe that's what makes you think it's something I was associated with, but not really. You were in the movie? Yeah, I was in, you know, I was in a, a group that played in the movie. It was when I was in television. The, uh -huh. the name of the group was television, and so he did a song. So up to Smithereens, then, what big parts have you had before? Big parts? Well, I made um, two Lower East Side kind of very... Um, Artsy, sort of? Well, <laughs> that would be f flattering <laughs> in the of artsy. Well, come they on. Even, you know, they were just, uh, let's make a movie. Uh, they got you where you are today. I mean, Smithereens is a hot new movie. You're a movie well, it star. it didn't have anything to do with Smithereens. Um, yeah, I know, but... Smithereens is, does, is surprising us all by getting a lot of hype. Yeah. Doing well, yeah. Why do you think it's uh, Why do you think it's getting the hype? It's getting. You just think, you know. It's, yeah. Well, it is. It's a very well-made movie, and it's a first feature by a New Yorker. And who who did it? Who who made the movie? Her name is Susan Seidelman. And. Uh, uh huh. Uh, and uh, anyway, we have a couple of clips, and one of the clips that I saw was of you. You you plant this sexy kiss on this on on this girl Susan that I thought was quite hot and then she she exits out of the scene and runs to the bathroom and that's something that we're going to see but uh, I thought it was pretty you know <laughs> I'm glad you liked it <laughs> and um, let's see so um, besides that um, how was Susan Berman I mean did you get along with her how oh really well yeah I like her a lot she's, she's so she's pushy in that in movie. movie well that was her is that is that like that's, her no, 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 it's not like <laughs> her. She had to act. practice and practice to figure out how to do that. <laughs> um, she's, so a, she's a real good, real good actress. She's a real pro, even though it's it, her first movie. And, yeah. you know, she hasn't really done much work. It's, she's a very serious, a committed actress. So, be so, but before this movie, how did you get your experience to those other movies and that was it? Or did you take acting lessons or...? No, I never took any acting lessons, but I had made three movies before this one. So, and there's another one coming out pretty soon that's going to be funny. What's the name of it? Um, it's by this guy named, he, he was named Nick Zodiac up until about two weeks ago, and now he's named Nick Zed. Uh-huh. And he had a different name before that, too, but um, I think that one he's trying to, he doesn't want it released. Anyway, he, um, he made a movie called They Eat Scum, which is the one I saw. Uh -huh. They eat scum. Have you ever heard of that? No. <laughs> it shows now and then at the Mud Club or um, Club Fifty Seven. Uh -huh. Anyway, this new movie is called. It's a sort of a parody of a monster movie, and it's called Geek Maggot Bingo. <laughs> Geek Hard to remember. Maggot Bingo. You have to think of Beach Blanket Bingo. <laughs> it's, a, it's not too catchy. Okay, we're going to go to the <laughs> clips now, Richard, of uh, Smith from Smithereens. Okay. Okay, um, so we just saw a scene, we just saw the scene, um, like I mentioned before, where you meet Susan Berman, she's at your apartment, you're sitting together. Mm -hmm, we come back to the apartment. And then we, ha we saw another scene where, you, where she barges in and she's being real, she's in your apartment, she messes things up with you and your girlfriend. Oh yeah. And, and another, the other scene was um, uh, the restaurant scene where she also... You saw all that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> but um, anyway, let's talk about your album. You have a brand new album 
it's called um, Destiny Street. And um, you're playing with Robert Quine again on this album, right? Yeah, yeah. He's played on both the albums I made. Um, but he's not in the group um, that I perform with now and that I'm doing new material with. No, he's no. not. And he's the only guy actually um, remaining from the group that was on the first album I made, Black Generation. I, it's always been like that. Different he, group for every kind of project, you know what I mean? Really? Yeah, so, so. so what album is this? How, how many have you had out before this one? Just one. Before that. Just one before this mm -hmm. one? That's the second one. Oh. So, um, well, do you think you'll be working? He got good reviews for his guitar playing. You know? mm -hmm. um, so you, you work with him once in a while, and he's not... Well, he doesn't like to go out of town and tour. And, uh, um, yeah, I don't know whether he'll be on the next one or not. Maybe. Mm-hmm. So you played at the Lone Star, too. With this yeah, yeah, How was that? Day. It was it went real well. With Tom Verlaine and the Outsets was the other band? Verlaine no? didn't have anything to do with that night. Yeah. No, but there was a the group called The Outsets is run by um, Ivan Julian. Oh, Ivan Julian. I'm old sorry. Yeah. Voidoid. Yeah. Yeah. Ex -Voidoid. Um, yeah, they opened the show. Was it a good show? Yeah, it was a good show. But we had a good time. Um, let me see. So, um, what are you going to be doing, you know, soon? You, are you up to anything new? I mean, are you going to be doing another uh, movie or? Um, I'm sure I'll be doing another movie. I don't know what yet. Um, there was one plan for the spring, but I, I don't know if you know the name of it or anything. But we're going on tour in, oh, yeah? in Europe in a, about three weeks. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Where are you going to be? Italy, France, and Germany, and England. Wow. And a little bit of Scandinavia. So how long is that going to be for? Uh, all of that in about three weeks. Really? <laughs> or maybe four weeks. Four weeks, I guess. Uh-huh. And um, so as far as another uh, movie, though, you don't really, you don't know if you'll be doing anything else in the way of another movie? I know I'll be doing something, but I don't know what right now. Yeah, because it looks like you're going to be catapulted into uh, stardom here, you know. Next thing you'll be unreachable, <laughs> <laughs> untouchable. Um, Hollywood. <laughs> no, you can, you I, can I always don't. reach me. <laughs> but uh, it looks that way. It really does. So um, about your blank generation uh, theme of the old days, uh, how do you think, what do you think about the scene these days? I mean, do you see... More ho it, it being more hopeful than it used to be, or is more it hopeful the scene. Um, and it's, it's it's successful for you now. It's been well. It's I never was too pessimistic about the scene. I mean, um, there's always something going on in New York that's mm. worth being around. I so, mean, what was the blank generation? thing all about then? Just the way you felt in your head? It didn't have to do with the scene. It was just a sort of kind of frame of mind. It was a, a frame uh, of mind at the time? Has that changed? I think it was my frame of mind yeah. and I was just trying to be optimistic when I said it was a generation's worth. Yeah. I mean, not optimistic because I would um, uh, wish that frame of mind on anybody. Right. But well, listen, listen. <laughs> that's how I felt. <laughs> All right. Thanks for being here. It was a pleasure to have you, and um, we hope everybody enjoyed Richard. See you later. Thanks.